Howdy, cadre. Another one. Mustang on the beach. Let's do something different. Um, is there another one? There are. We can do spaces. Cheats. Um, another one. Uh, there's a bunch of chests. Game rules? Oh. This is new stuff, huh? Dra you can turn off drowning damage? Fire damage? Sleep percentage. Respawn location radius. Allow spectators to generate. Oh, okay. If they're flying around, okay. So that's a uh, that's like a server load issue. Oh, you can turn off phantoms. Nice. I don't know if they appear in the Nether. So uh, cheats are on. We don't need the. Okay, let's do it. So, I had an idea at one point. I don't. I don't think I even suggested it online, and it's it's not like the bots would care, right? Um. The the concept of like building a starting base. Oh man, this looks like a nice world already. Oh, the yeah, there's a shortcut for that. F3 and F4, if you hit them right in a row. Nice. Okay. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. So yeah, I never really suggested it, I don't think. Um, I guess, I guess here is fine. Like, pretty much where I started. Um, yeah, the idea of I want to look around a little bit. Oh, nice. Man. Oh, there's a ship right there. Oh, I was so mad at myself for my decisions before even... Yeah, I love... I already love this spawn. Um, oh, man. Okay. Let's, let's not get... Too excited or this. This is a nice hill. Well, you know, eventually, maybe we'll come back here. Anyway, um, tools. No, tools. Here. The, uh, the suggestion idea for, for new, new players who want, a, you know, a more casual start, it was going to be that they begin in creative mode. And just pick some materials that they want to build out of, you know, whatever it is, and that they build the starter base, and then switch to survival mode. It's not a great. I'm, hold on, I'm gonna. Oh, that interrupts the music. But I wanted to look at the. I guess. Yeah. So my voice is in the the top of the yellow or the bottom of the red maybe I should turn that down some yeah 
yeah, we'll put up with it for now. Oh, okay, so glowstone dust. I don't know what this is called. Is it redstone? Does it count as redstone? Nah. No, it doesn't. What is it? I don't, I don't remember what it's called. Um, miscellaneous? Could be miscellaneous. Decorative? Respawn anchor. There it is. All right. Um, I th I think that's all I need, other than the glowstone, right? Um, there we go. I probably interrupt some music, huh? Yes. All right. So, wow. Well, this is noise. Let's build it in the tree there. Um, Well, I don't know what I'm doing, huh? I thought it was glowstone dust. Hmm. Do you need levels? All right, I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go read. Um uh, respawn anchor. What the heck am I doing? I I never I never net deck this stuff. But here we go. Okay. Um. Oh, it's redstone, isn't it? Um, uh, oh, they're made out of crying obsidian and glowstone. Hmm. Oh, glowstone block, not dust. Okay. All right. Well, that that's that's fine. Do I need No, that does it. Okay. Um Ouch. Not a great start. Okay. So, I believe what we've just accomplished is setting our spawn point in the nether and we are in creative mode um, or sorry survival mode um, oh that's lava hey there I, I don't see any immediate dangers which is nice um I to 
Oh, I came in through. All right, we're just. So yeah, cheating. Yeah, I don't care. Say what you want. Um, this this is something I've been thinking about doing for a while, and it's it's not even my own um, idea. Um, okay. I don't remember where I heard the idea. Uh, but certainly the concept is simple enough. What if you could start in the nether instead of... Um, I guess... I guess leaving a little bit for the porpoises of lighting would be smart. And that's actually a strategy or a, I, I, I guess you could say morality. Whoa. That sounded like an arrow. Not sure what that was. Uh, code, uh, code of ethics. Um, hey, what, what's, um, what's, what's the? Uh, it's not strategy. Isn't a good word. Oh, maybe I should make a chest. for the porpoises of storing that glowstone um sure some wood whatever uh <laughs> yeah no certainly Certainly, I've watched enough people play Minecraft that um, can I do that? Can I use Nether Rack? Can I think I need to find Blackstone? Or does another rack work now? Can't recall. Yep. Yeah, nope. Nope. Don't be silly. A little bit too easy. Okay. So our first quest is gonna be finding stone, I suppose, since we already uh, have the. I doubt I'll need a shovel, but. Um... Yeah, so the the general idea, what if you could start in the nether, um, it goes way back. And even if I was able to tell you the source for me learning it, I kind of doubt... You know, I already saw gold, but don't I need... I think I need stone to get gold. Does that make sense? Nope, I don't. Okay. Because you don't need stone to get iron. No, you do. Okay, so my debate did make sense, but... Hey there, guy. 
you the one I was hearing? Now oh, we're gonna need a, need a lot more nuggets than that. He's gonna come after me real soon, isn't he? I'm a little scaredy cat. Um, for good reason, though, I think. I got no armor. No stone or metal. I mean, I got some gold nuggets, as we've just established. Um, are you supposed to break these with hoes? This, I probably need stone for nether quartz, though. So, I probably need to look for, like, the basalt biome? Gold. Big bucks, no lava. Big bucks, no lava. Um, yeah. So yeah, the idea is probably as old as the Nether itself. Like, ooh, what if I could start there? Although, it didn't used to make any sense because back in the olden days, there was no wood in the nether. Um, now of course we have these nice uh, fungal biomes. Where's that? Okay. Where's that? No? Okay. Um, thought I'd plant a couple of those to grow. Um, I think I'm going to sneeze. Yeah. Right on the verge. Oh, now you see me. I don't think you can get up here, though. You're not even trying, are you? How did I get up here? Um, well, how, how are you going to get to me, huh? I don't have anything to drop. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, that doesn't do it. I can make boots. Um, it's not much armor. Yeah, it's half a... Half a, th a unit of armor. My goal with that um, was, was just to get something gold on, in case I run into piglins. You can't get up here? You having trouble? I can't hit your hitbox. It 
would be nice to have a source of food and leather here. Okay, okay, yep, monster hunter. Alright, that's just... Yeah, those finds are nice. Um, that's a whole new luxury, but I suppose... I don't know, does it count as a luxury when... Oh! Um... No, I, I would need a furnace. Okay, I would need a furnace. To make coal. So again, stone. Stone is my major goal. Oh, right up What is it? I don't, I don't want to do with that. Um, I haven't seen any stone yet, or even the hint of another biome. Oh, hey, guy. Whew! Felt that on my nose. Uh, like the my nose hit, it kind of singed. Oh. Okay, yeah. Um. Don't like. Oh. No, no, don't. Don't, don't meander that way. I guess, I guess I should just run. Where did those hit? I guess they didn't hit. Uh, okay, yeah. Sorry about the confusing visuals. Um, alright, so... Perhaps the best thing I could do is just tunnel. One, I don't, I don't need the nether rack. But one advantage of tunnels is that you know you're pretty safe from. I don't think I can break this, right? Oh, I can! Wow. I mean, and, and recover the material is was my point. I don't think it helps me, except, I don't know, it's nice to build with nether quartz, it's, it's a pretty bright material, um, it might be good for marking things, oh, I certainly don't have torches, Um, is it four? It is, okay. Uh, Alright. I guess, I guess we could eat more raw. Raw meat, if we need to. Um... Okay, alright. Any, anyway, so... But then the, the idea of starting... Or living in the nether was impossible until they introduced... Um... The... Respawn anchors. They do not work in the overworld or other dimensions they only work in the nether they were sorry I'm, I'm tabbed over to find the the history here they were introduced um in 1.16 I 
It can be charged with a dispenser. Cannot be destroyed by the Ender Dragon. I don't know why that would matter other than shenanigans. There's an advancement. And they prioritize cardinal directions over corners. I don't know what that means. Um, does it have a facing? Is that what it's talking about? They can be placed under note blocks to produce the bass drum sound. Hoglins run away from them. Interesting. Cannot be pushed by a piston. They explode in other di dimensions. Oh, maybe I need to click on it to activate it. Um, I, uh, stuff about silk touch. Yeah, that's all I know about it. Um, Do I need to do it? Do I need to right click on it? I I do. Okay, good. I'm glad I just happened to read about that. So, it's it's not a brilliant idea I mean I was already saying it isn't a complex idea um, but it's also really not a smart I oh whoa 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 okay it's also not a smart idea but um, the main thing it accomplishes is a new challenge. It's just a different, different experience. Probably like a um, different difficulty level, so to speak. Um, but beyond just being harder, it's it's going to be a wildly different experience than anything I've had before, and. Um, I mean, you know, aren't wildly. I, I, I personally don't spend a lot of time in the nether. I mean, I have in the past, but... Um, I'm not a, a challenge seeker as much as a lot of players are. I guess I can make gold stuff doesn't last very long but it might kind of be necessary for the you know for the porpoises do it for the the porpoises I don't know why I'm maintaining my elevation but so be it Not even gonna mess with that. I don't. I don't know if I can handle uh, or cook with lava or anything because I don't know. I guess the best source of iron might be trading with piglins. I don't know if trading is the best word. Swapping. Swapping might be a better word. Trade kind of implies. 
negotiation or decision based on the merits of the trade you know that like you discuss the trade and then both agree on the trade and then do the exchange but um yeah with the piglins it's not quite all that advanced you just throw them a bar of gold or do nuggets work? I don't think nuggets work. And then they throw you something in return. So it's more its more of a swap than a trade, maybe. If, if you know. See, I'm, I'm of the opinion that all world words are different. And that is because of my understanding of connotation versus denotation. That even if two words are listed as synonyms in some dictionary... Oh, already out of all that stuff. Now, well, maybe we'll go back soon. I thought I might reach some sort of opening... Um. Yeah, even if two words are listed as synonyms, that that's their that that would be their their denotation, that their um, the meaning of the word is considered the same uh, for the from the perspective of the. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I should take that with me. Need to get more wood already. Guess I'm not using that yet. Um, okay, so yeah, denotation would be the like textbook definition, and a lot of words. There can be a lot of words that have the same meaning from a, a broad standpoint. Obviously, um, words that represent abstracts are going to be less tangible in their definitions and words that you know represent things nouns close to something I mean yeah there's abstract nouns but objects words that represent objects are gonna have more specific meanings but ah not patient enough. The actually, the quartz would be good for stairs, wouldn't they? That's that's some epic music. Connotations are... Oh, there we go. Whoa, hey guys. Look at my boots. No, it's cool. Look at my boots. One of us. One of us. Did I? Yes, I did pick up that crafting table. So... Hey! No. What? This is my hallway. My hallway. Okay, you can you can check it out, I guess. Um, what can I make stairs out of these? Nope. Okay, so that will in fact be a good use. Hmm. 
Nice quartz stairs. Mm. Lap of luxury. Oh man. Noise. I don't need that. There's glowstone right there. Um, okay, so... We found more wood. If we want to go for it. There's gold... I guess we're headed to the gold. Um, mining it's a bad idea. In front of these piglins. But I think... I think I could, uh, manage my way over there in a way that uh, yeah I knew I was gonna sneeze I told you I just I am not yeah I am a dimensional seer But I don't think time is a dimension in the same way that... The spatial dimensions are dimensions. Time is either... Like, on a different spectrum? It's of a different quality than the spatial dimensions. Let me put it that way. Um, 64 nuggets. Okay, I don't... don't like the feel of that. Um, let's see. If we... Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh! You mad? No. I got boots on. Okay. Oh, it's talking about words, words, words. So, the, the denotations being what they refer to in a, a literal sense and then denotations being the the feelings attached to them um, so what's a good example like there's there's a whole lot of words that carry different denotate or sorry connotations but have the same denotation and often they relate to these spectrums of of judgment um, so for an example you can have a person who is cost conscious and that you know those two words might be the best way to make it as judgment neutral as possible cost a cost conscious person person if you are being and so maybe that's a non-judgmental or judgment neutral way of saying that cost conscious what am I dealing with here um, I don't like all that I don't know how much I have under my feet not enough. Um, we can get down there, though. Um, yeah, we can 
get down there. Shifting, shifting, shifting. Must have a strong pinky. Nice. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't think there's piglins right here to cause me problems. So, yeah, cost, well, yep, uh, cost conscious would be a rather judgment-free way. And even, even the word judgment um, has connotations and denotations. The connotation, usually when somebody uses the word judgment, they're talking about, oh, no thanks, um, negative, negative judgment being judged harshly or criticized. But judgment can go both ways, and that's what I was leading up to, is that a, a positive judgment of the phrase, well, let's do negative first. Because that is what the, that I was just talking about, that we might assume when somebody says judgmental, that they mean um, n negatively judgmental or, or critical, critical. Uh, so, yeah. Negatives for negative words with negative connotations for being con cost conscious might include stingy, cheap, uh, penny-pinching. Um, that's enough examples. You get the idea. And, and But you can also be judgmental positively. And there are words like frugal or... Um, Careful with money. I, there's a lot more examples that are coming to mind right now. Um, f frugal. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you get the idea, and and you can do that with with plenty of other things, especially when judgment comes in. Um, thin might be fairly neutral skinny we often think is a criticism um, and they they can I like to think of it as Venn diagrams that in some ways these words where these words overlap is the denotation and where there's differences are the differing connotations. And you could start mapping words against each other, words and phrases of meaning, um, so that you could compare... Okay, that is a hoglet. That scares me. Maybe I'll... Oh, and I don't think I can get this safely. Testing, testing. Huh. I guess no hoglins are near nearby to see me. I don't know. Oh, that's that's a zombie. Pig man. Who have been in the game longer than the piglins. Is that a mad... No, just walking by, okay. I'm nervous about taking gold in front of them. I think that triggers them, but maybe, maybe... It... Yeah, are you mad? You mad? They sound mad. Did 
They're also acting kind of mad. Oh, I used all my wood. That's bad. Are you gonna calm down, or...? Yeah, you definitely seem mad. Um... What do I do? I mean, do I have to fight you, or...? No. I think you calm down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a little guy. That was a little guy, wasn't it? Oh, man. Is he coming back? I'm gonna eat some meat. I think he ran off. Okay, alright, okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, um we're cool? Yeah, you're you're zombie, we're cool. Um I got I got nothing now. I was just gonna maybe do some of this. Who's who's Okay, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not looking to fight with any of you, really, um, okay, uh, the, uh, no, no, alright, I, I could make, let me make a helmet, cause that, that also doesn't take too much gold, Okay, nice. Um, and then... We're headed this way. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Alright, uh, I don't want to run. I was about to run, but that, that would make me hungry. So, connotations, denotations... What was my point with all that? Different words... I don't... I don't remember. Um, alright, I'm just gonna stash a bunch of stuff in here because I think it's better and safer than dealing with maybe I should do some glowstone stuff. That could be handy too. Well, we haven't died yet and we're already up to level 8. Where's... Okay, that's you guys. I can't tell your noises from the hoglands very well yet. I think is part of the dis oh hey there buddy okay okay all right a little bit of leather a little bit more meat Good, good, good. And I do need to get more wood, so... The noises are so weird in the nether. So, anyways, it's one of the complexities of language, especially the English language, because we've adopted words left and right. That was another thing I was going to say, is that in addition to the denotations and connotations, you also have the etymology. 
which I think plays an additional role in the complexity of all of that, because um, if uh, and a lot of people don't know the history of words. And I'm not saying everybody should, if you're not interested in it. it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to focus on it. Um, and that that is possibly a regret I have from high school, is I... Before freshman year, I debated between taking German and Latin. That was an Enderman. Um, yeah, no, you can you can have that space. I'm not here to fight with you. Um, I mean, neither of us are natives to this dimension. I'm pretty sure, but um, even if it was my dimension, I don't think I would be. Pushing you away. Um, so yeah, uh, I decided to take German, and I ended up taking it for all four years of high school. Because I... well... I have I have German in my blood, so to speak, and I don't I don't use that term very often for ancestry. I don't really talk or focus about ancestry very often. I consider myself a child of the world. I think that's a luxury we have in the, the modern day. When you're a child, your exposure to things is quite uh, limited, and th like the the only thing you can be expected to encounter and learn from is whatever is you know mainstream in your culture or or. you know, local culture, whatever, that is going to be the mainstream, and that starts with your parents. They're kind of the only example you have of a family. What? Okay, they're fighting out here. Can I help? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Am I safe? He's stuck. Well, this is how you hunt him. This isn't the weapon that you hunt them with, but that is how you hunt them. Okay. Let's eat some meat. Um, and then, okay, we do not have any sort of... I don't remember where, where that sentence was going. Um, we don't have any sort of... Mm -hmm. Did, I didn't look at you, did I? Nope. Okay. Pushy, pushy Enderman. Okay. Um. Hey! Why was that? A 
Okay, what... Did they not like it if you open a chest? Is he gonna be okay with me now, or is he gonna kill me again? I don't know. Oh, I don't have gold on. Mm -hmm. Now I do. We appear to be okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, she's. Oh, you picked up mm -hmm. my shoes? Alright, what if I trade with you? Will mm -hmm. that help? Would you drop my shoes if I trade with you? No? What did you give me? Nothing? Are you wearing my shoes now? Fire charge? Okay. Boy, it's bad for filming when I'm constantly pushed into a corner by a piglin and scared to look at anything other than my lack of feet uh, because of an enderman. Alright. Let's try to be safe here. If I back up and block myself in, I don't know why he got mad. Um, I suspect it is because I opened this chest, but it's my chest! I built it! Um, okay, the, yeah, there's things, so, uh, yeah, I debated between German, hey, that's exactly where I was going, um, and Latin, in German, I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe in the process I'll learn about the culture of my ancestors. And when I say ancestors, it's it's maybe a third. Possibly less of, of my ancestors are, would be German. Um, you know, I've supposedly got a mix of... Uh, the English Isles and um, Scandinavian and then tiny bits of you know French Native American um, I think my boots were taken and I probably could use a couple axes and we have leather but not enough for things we want. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some gravel. Where'd that come mm -hmm. from? Did that... That piglin trade us? He wouldn't have given us that much gravel. Where'd the gravel come from? Curiouser and curiouser. I'm just going to put those away for now. That too. Hmm. Oh, 
I could recharge that. Yeah, I think you took my boots, buddy. That's okay. I got the gold from around here. I don't, I don't need the obsidian, but eventually that could pay off. No, no, you can have that. You can have that. I'm looking for looking for other stuff, just because you know I don't have much yet. Leather. Ooh, actually, that's enough to make some pants or something. Actually, that's enough for a chest. Might indeed help us against the hoglins. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Um. Nope. Whew. Yes. Someday, when the. Endermen are bugging us. We'll talk about the word uppity. But not today. So, yeah, German. I, 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 I thought it might be interesting. Um, maybe I should get rid of this lava. It seems like a bad location for it, huh? Let's get that here, because maybe it'll grow down. Yeah, I guess I'll just put that there as well. Um, Yeah, I don't really want to jump that far. So. Yeah, so, okay, so German. Would certainly, or would possibly, um. Let, you know, let me learn something about something. I guess it was, you know, for more personal reasons, or I guess you could say right-brained reasons. More um, kind of spiritual or personal reasons. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Um... But I was I was debating taking oh nice taking Latin as well because I thought yeah no I'm not not looking for problems buddy maybe I should just make another hallway this way. This is obviously kind of my home base, even though we don't have a home here. So, the, the, the pros of taking Latin... Oh, the, the other pro of German is that it, it it's a living language. Like, I could go to Germany and potentially use it. Um, to, to, you know, navigate, interact, communicate. Communicate's a good simple word for talking. And there's very, there's really not I, I think I read there's one place that speaks something fairly close to Latin. 
I think it might be in the mountains of Spain, if I recall correctly. But it doesn't... It doesn't closely resemble ancient Latin, because it's been a living language for that long. And it's also been influenced by sp Spanish quite heavily, but, you know, all... Uh, there are a lot of la languages called Romantic languages that are descended from Latin. Um, romantic meaning related to Rome. But in thinking about it, I realized that uh, there were certain professions that Latin are more important for. Namely, um, primarily scientific and technical fields. Well, this is just more warped mushroom forest. Well, we have plenty of wood. That's the good news. Um, So, if I was going to be a lawyer or a doctor, I think I would have taken Latin. Or, you know, a biologist. If you were going to be studying languages in general, or ancient languages. Um, and I, I think in a lot of scientific or technical fields, you know, including medicine and the things I already listed. Mm -hmm. I think it would be, be um, advantageous because there's a lot of terminology in the fields of science that use Latin words, draw from Latin words, um, certainly for biologists, the, uh, the taxonomy of species, that's a good word, taxonomy. It's the categorization and a grouping of, of similar, similar things, um, that's categorization. But I'm trying to dance around denotations and connotations. In part, I do that because uh, I don't know. I have very little interest in choosing obscure words to try and impress people. I think it, it can even backfire. Because a lot of people will pride themselves on their... how they fit into popular or mainstream culture. I don't know why I keep getting nether quartz. I guess for stairs and it's good... It's good leveling. I suppose. I was headed to find... more gold. Which I saw over here somewhere. Is it in the ceiling? I thought it was in a wall. I build, Mr. Zombie Pigman. I build. Not building much here, but... So anyways, yeah, and ironically now, I, 
I am a technician working, you know, in a science focused field. It may be like I guess you'd call it a, a practical ouch. Uh engineering applied science. But yeah, maybe maybe there's a few ways. Um, if I had taken four years of Latin, might be a few ways it would help me now. But I I don't think it's a dramatic need or necessity. Um, well, it feels like we're in a different biome. It seems like old school Nether. But it feels pretty safe. These mushrooms. Nobody cares if I take mushrooms, right? Doesn't appear so. Mush mushrooms could pay off for, for food. Wonder, can you grow mushrooms in the nether? Seems like you might be able to. Alright. You guys are all zombies? You're not. Oh, I'm out of pick. Um, I am out of pick. Seven. That's enough for pants, isn't it? Yep. Noise. All right. What? Okay. Who? Where? Ye no. I think he wandered off. Let's try and get this gold. Seems like even if you're not in sight, they might be able to hear you breaking golds. But I'm also not sure if they care about nuggets or if their main objection would be to you getting blocks of, you know, solid blocks of gold. So anyways, I decided on German, and it probably doesn't matter much at this point, which I chose. Um, I did go to Germany a couple times. Hey! Are you... Alright, we're gonna test the kid. Okay, you... You don't care? Doesn't seem to care. He may have run to try and grab the nugget. But that's not going to be as scary as them getting upset for me mining it. Oh, another biome. Okay, so let's leave a marker of sorts. And I think I can get blackstone over here. Yes, I see it. I see blackstone. Um, oh, and more shrooms. Nice. Nice, nice. have 
entered the Stone Age. We were already in the Golden Age, I suppose. But now we have stone. Okay, so... Yes, the Geiger counter sounds. Perhaps we should build a home away from home here. Uh, now we have a furnace. Uh, what are we burning? We don't have wood. I guess. I guess we need wood, huh? Well, let's just get more stone, and then. I mean, I could. I could burn tools. I don't know if I have enough wood tools to make. Piece of charcoal. Let's try it. Start with a shovel. Oh. What? I thought we could burn wood tools. What? All right, I don't know what I'm doing. Take the furnace with this. I guess I'm not making this a new home because I can't accomplish any of what I wanted to with the furnace. So, yeah, I didn't take Latin, but etymology... ...is... I think it's a noble pursuit, understanding where words came from. I'm not saying it's for everyone, or that, you know, it would help everybody in their daily lives, or anything like that. Um, But, when I'm questioning words and their meanings... Yeah, that's, that's some stuff. Some stuff down there. And I don't want to fall in it, so... Okay, that's some safer... Safer stuff. So, where did I come from? Um, oh, some shrooms. That would be nice. Mix, mix some veggies in our diet. Um, yeah, there... A lot of times we know, like, we learn the connotations almost quicker. Because a lot of times we learn words from how they're used in context. I mean, I've known people who, especially when they were younger, would read the dictionary in their free time. Um... And it seems a little bit strange to me. Okay, I came by here. Um, and where did we come from? Like that way or no, this way? Oh, there's a there's another reminder there. Um. Yeah, we often learn words from experiencing them in in context. And 
and so I, f I feel like we often wow there's a bunch of shrooms I'm already feeling lost though so I don't want to increase the chances of actually getting lost by continuing to wander off in strange directions um In a way, I'm navigating by connotation rather than denotation. Like it didn't, I didn't necessarily mark my path well, but I feel like I'm remembering that I came from a hole in the wall that was generally this direction. I think I'm getting close to it, but now this seems strange. Um, maybe I'm here already? But not seeing the hole? Maybe I'm above or below it? Hmm. Really not sure. Really lost a, a lot of confidence in my navigation and uh, talking, talking, especially when you're figuring out what you're talking about as you go, um, uses enough parts of the brain that makes uh, it. Yeah, navigation more difficult. I really wasn't focused on... I feel like I need to go that way, but I could be wrong. As I keep saying. Yeah, I feel like I remember this cave and coming by it. Did I come down from down lower? Doesn't seem right. Maybe if I step back and take a look from here. Maybe I was down further? Boy, I don't know. Um, let's get a marker. Um, case we're getting ourselves even more lost. Well, certainly if we if we perish, we'll be back there soon. Hmm. Maybe this is wrong. So, anyways, um yeah, looking into the etymology of, of words that I'm, I'm thinking about, I find helpful because you'll sometimes find surprising meanings that you didn't know um, you know, interesting connections maybe, maybe I need to be up here Maybe that is my issue. No, isn't this what I just did? I was up here. I kept falling. Oh, this... Yeah, so I, I came from over there, and it was up... I came across this...
but where did I come from before that? I don't know. Did I get up here somehow? I feel like I need to go that way, but I'm just not seeing the path I took. Well, I'm going to build a bridge. Because maybe it'll bypass this uh, confusion I'm having just by... Uh, getting on the other side of this span. Hmm. Well, I was hoping to be able to make... Well, I need more wood for that, don't I? I guess I have more wood, so I should get more wood. Anyways, um, yeah, etymology can be helpful for thinking about words and meanings um, it's especially perhaps if if it's a word that was taken from another culture um, looking into how that culture used it or how the word was used in the past could be helpful all right are we getting back to somewhere I have sure lost my tunnel. But I was kind of thinking if I just kept pushing that maybe I would get around the the nether rack that I tunneled through to end up seeing my my portal anyway that doesn't seem to be going very well hmm let's go this way cuz what do I know who who who, who knows This doesn't really look right. Let's keep going up here, because the big floaty baby ghosts don't want to deal with. Nope, it, that doesn't really lead anywhere. Why was I even talking about language? I feel like I started that for some reason, so I'm trying to circle back now with my brain. But you know, linear. Linear doesn't always cycle well. It's really all cycles, it's loops. All right, can I, can I, can I split this and burn it? I. Is that the problem? Can you not burn crimson? Are these like fire resistant because they're Yeah, I can't even put them in there. I can put them up there. All right, issues, issues. So how, how do I get coal? That is a tricky conundrum. How do I find my way home? I guess I guess I gotta do it through trading? I think you can get redstone through swapping. Alright. 
how do I find my way back? Or should I, like, hedge my bets? I think I've come down too low, perhaps. Um, yeah, if I want to protect some of the stuff I've gathered, an alternate strategy would be to um, store it. Store it somewhere. Ow, I didn't really want to do that, but I guess I'm going to eat some raw pork chop. Since I can't figure out the cooking thing. Well, that's where I just was. That's a different color wood. I wonder if that burns better. Suppose I could test that. Um... No, 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 no. No, nope, thanks. Ah, nope, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... I don't have gold on, do I? Nope. I don't, I don't have gold here. Yep. I'm gonna die. Alright, well we have a couple of those, and then we're in trouble. Um, or maybe we're already in trouble and we just don't know it yet. Yeah, I don't see any of the green here. Oh, but I do know... ...that we were going this way. I, no, I don't... Uh-oh. Well, we're gonna die again. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, where, where do we go now? Alright, well, this, this is a dramatically bad, um, situation. I had gathered a bunch of resources. I mean, none of them are critical, I suppose, but that was a lot of wood and gold. And now, I don't even know where that went. Um, oh, maybe... Okay, there's the bridge I built. Okay, so... We just missed... Wait, which way were we going when we built the bridge? I think this way, right? No. Maybe not. This is our other bridge, so I think we're getting close. Where'd I die? Huh. 
I thought it was here ish. Hmm. Oh no, it's 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 here, isn't it? It's here-ish. Um yeah, I found that and then I went back around. Etymology, connotations, denotations. What was I trying Oh, this is bad. This is bad. No, I didn't really want to deal with you. don't remember where I died. Here it is! I don't know if it helps. Okay, yep, no. This, this is stupid, stupid times. Stupid times. Um, that needed recharging, though, so it's good I'm not completely stupid. Um, words. I don't, I don't know what my point was with words. Insert catchphrase here. <laughs> 